So everybody, good morning. My name is Alex and welcome back to Alex in the City. Wow, look at this. Red carpet. Am I going to a Hollywood premiere of a movie? Am I going to an exclusive nightclub that's being opened here in Chongqing? Well, actually, I'm going to the opening of the brand new Lego store here in Raffle City. And this is one of their big flagship stores that is opened to the public this morning here, right at the end of October. And we're gonna go through the doors here and we're gonna discover. <laughs> so let me give you guys a little bit of history here on the Lego store now. It's been around since I've been around, so that'll tell you it's been around a few, for a few years already. But this company started in 1949 in Denmark. But China's market is huge for Lego. And I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but as of 2021, Lego Store, Denmark, parent company, is the largest toy manufacturer in the world. Now, when I was young, we had the basic blocks and they were, you looked at them as a construction kit, kind of like making houses or anything. It would come with basic blocks that look just like this. The gold ones, the white ones, and you just kind of put them together in the theme. Even in this store, they've taken great detail and time to follow the theme of actually Chongqing itself. Now here's an iconic building here in Chongqing. This is Raffle Center, as you can see. It's made of Lego. And I have to tell you, Lego actually inspired me to really discover what construction can be all about. And maybe that's why I have such a fascination with skylines like Chongqing. Architects, city planners, you never know what Lego could have done to you growing up. I mean, it could have inspired many young minds to become architects. Now, as you see here on the wall, this is Hong Yidong. This is a really iconic tourist destination here and historic place in Chongqing. Now, this tree here, so Lego, this took, this is actually 1,523 kilograms of blocks, okay? 1,780 hours and 548,382 pieces. In your country, if you celebrate Christmas, have a look at this. Santa delivering his reindeer. It can bring back the nostalgic things in your life. Like Back to the Future. I used to watch that movie in the 80s. Here's an old car, an old Mustang. I used to own a Mustang. <laughs> a Vespa. Funny enough, I own a Vespa too. And it can make you dream. I used to have a Porsche in my childhood at an early age. Holiday spirit for you guys here. Holiday Main Street. I hope they give you something. Okay. What's your name here? So my name yeah. Julia. Personal figurine. Here we yeah. come. And, and now and now you can customize your t-shirt. So Julia, how does it feel to have one of the first figurines ever printed in Chongqing, China? I feel special. Magic happening right in front of us. Wow, it's cool. And once again, this is a toy that you can grow with. I don't think any age could grow out of Lego. Finished product. Uh, the I Chongqing, well, this is a I Love Chongqing figurine. You can uh, be more adventurous and uh, change it up. So you can be as creative as you like. It's lots of fun actually. Let's let that sink in a moment that a Danish company 
is selling its product here. Just like Starbucks and other, sh uh, other shops, Adidas, the high brand, Louis Vuitton, major company owners that employ many people in your country are producing products to China. Think about that for a moment. Talk soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Take care.